Well, the Pokemon Go craze is a moneymaker for the company that created it. Uh, the billions it's generating may be coming from your kids, unless you check your phone settings. Uh-oh. Consumer reporter Steve Noviello is here with some money-saving details. Help us out. Yeah, good morning, guys. The Pokemon Go craze certainly generating billions of dollars in revenue. And as you mentioned, a lot of that money is coming from in-app purchases. Now, the game can be free to play, but to unlock the real premium features, you got to spend a little bit of money. Take a look at the video we've got for you. The thing that struck me the most was just how much money people are spending. You take a look at the left side of the screen there. You can see in-app purchases start at 99 cents and go all the way up to $100 in one single click. What folks are doing is purchasing what's called Pokey Coins, which is the in-app currency for the game, and then using that virtual currency to buy things like ammunition and other features that will attract the Pokemon. So it's important if you haven't done so already to set limits on spending for anybody who may be using your device. Eve, stop the madness. Tell us how. Uh, you, you can go into the settings uh, pretty easily, uh, particularly for iPhone users. You can turn on what's called the Ask to Buy feature, which will require anybody who wants to make an in-app purchase to get your permission first. You actually get a notification. You can see it on your screen. Or you can go into the settings where you can turn off the ability to make in-app purchases altogether. Now, moms and dads, this can also be a great learning opportunity for kids and a lesson in responsible spending. You might try linking a prepaid credit or debit card or gift card so that you can limit the amount of spending your child can do ahead of time and kind of leave it up to them as to how they want to budget that money. The other thing that people don't really get here sometimes is that this app is a huge data hog. So there's a ton of data being used. So if you are not on an unlimited plan, or even if you are, you are in danger of it being throttled back or, of course, uh, incurring all sorts of data overage fees. Wow. Well, we're also hearing a lot about some of the dangers associated with the game. What's the advice People from moms? People being that, robbed. That, well, that or walking off a cliff. Or, I mean, yes. like, some of it's common sense, obviously, but, you know, you got to be careful out there, Certainly right? an unintended consequence of the game, and we are seeing a ton of it. In fact, another incident just overnight. Uh, I will say this. I love that the game gets kids up, gets them moving, gets them exploring. But, you know, there are all sorts of dangers in the real world that are not reflected on the screen of the virtual world. So it's an important conversation to have with your kids and really it's important for you to draw the connection for them. Most kids are not going to understand how playing a game can be dangerous but if you walk them through how being distracted or unaware of your surroundings inhibits your ability to respond quickly to potential and actual danger that's going to help them to connect the dots. I am just looking forward to when school starts and these kids are mm. walking down the halls like zombies playing this stupid video game. Let's not call it stupid. I, but hey, I'm hoping that it. they make I, one, I of the, fair one of the pokey stops polling places in November. Right. How about that? That's oh, a good yeah. idea. Let's I, you know what, and I'm, I'm not going to say stupid because I, I, I told you I'd talk with a woman and she said that she has a 17 year old and a 14 year old and this is the first time the whole family has filled has felt connected. They've all found something that they want to do together. Whoa. And I thought, you know that's, what? That's really bad. That's no, but that's so. Come on. No, that is pitiful. Not necessarily. I think if everyone's having fun and they're getting outside, which I think is good too, especially with the heat. You know, Maybe she didn't mean outside. first time ever. No, no she just she said it was nice to find something that they all there can you bond go. over, which there you I, go. you know, when you got a, some teenagers, that can be tough. They just want to lock themselves in the room. At least they're getting out and the whole family's doing something together. Yeah, and I'll tell you, businesses love it as well. You know, we're seeing all That's sorts true. of businesses reporting, you know, people coming to pay them a visit because they've got some sort of rare Pokemon yep. somewhere nearby. <laughs> and, oh, I need a Coke or I'll, I'll go in here and, and buy that. Thanks, Steve. Yep.